Hey everyone, welcome back to the episode podcasting. I'm Stuart. I'm Ross. I'm Rob. And we're here to do a special review of... You guys? You guys want to review Vengeance. <laughs> a vengeance. <laughs> oh. Anyway, yes, we are going to do a quick review, well, probably a very long review of the Batman. If it was straight away, um, we're going to be in straight to spoilers because we can't do non-spoiler talk because basically the non-spoiler talk will be, it's really good, go and see it. <laughs> spoilers. Yeah. Um, and go see it in IMAX. Oh, yeah. If you haven't already, yeah. just see it as for the sound design alone. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. So, so you warn mm. now. We'll give you five seconds to click the subscribe <laughs> button before you leave, mm. and also just close this video if you haven't seen it. We don't want to spoil it for you. You go and see this film mm. right now. Enjoy the fuck out of it, and then come back and listen to us talk about it and see if you agree. So, I'll give you five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. <laughs> And we're back. You've been warned. Yeah. <laughs> so, how the Batman. How do you want to start this off? Do you want to talk about the plot? Or do you want to talk about what you liked, dislikes? Or just... Uh, I mean, it's just, everything's so good. I don't know what's... Well, we're not going to be talking about dislikes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, have, I have, like, the one is nitpick in the world, which I, we'll talk about at the end, I mean, sure. if I even remember it, and then the rest of it. I mean, let's start with... Let's maybe start with the opening, and we'll go for characters, but like just, like, the opening of the movie. All right? I've seen a lot of people say... It's the best Batman introduction mm. in any of the films, and I'd have to agree. Well, the fact it has... I mean, you could sort of skip over like, the, the Riddler part, mm-hmm. like, which you don't yeah. see the first part, like, when you actually, but, but when actually Batman comes in. The fact it opens with a very comic book, like, I think you could, you could probably put it from year one, Long Halloween, the, like yes. narration yeah. Yeah. of him just writing a journal mm. of what he's doing. And his voice is amazing. It's so... It's just... I, like I remember when, I, when it... I mean, it has that picture of like uh, Gotham, it's all the lights, and they're all in Halloween costumes walking down like the main mm. street. And I was like, going, This is a Rob Patterson voice, is it? No, this is somebody else is talking. And then they're like, No, no, this is definitely Batman. Holy crap, this is his voice. Mm. And yeah. It's just. It's uh, a lot deeper than what he is like when he's actually mm. talking. Yeah. So it's yeah, kind of like, it's like yeah. an internal monologue kind yeah. of thing or whatever. But yeah, yeah. it's very comic book like. And, uh, and the sort of like shots you have of like him walking through that, because on Halloween night, him walking through all the people, like in just his hat and sort of face yeah. mask. In disguise. Because he's in that big puffer jacket because yeah. he's got the suit on underneath. Which is fucking genius. Yeah. yeah. In fact, he drives around it on the bike. Yeah. He, he only takes the cowl and his gloves off and they're in his backpack. Yeah. yeah. And he has the suit on with the black eye makeup still on and yeah. just has a helmet well, I like on. That it also grounds him as somebody that's on the streets yeah. looking for looking for the crime. Yeah. He's not yeah. waiting in the back cave. He's out there. Mm. Yeah. Looking to well, the, the, the monologue over the top is, you know, it's a big city. Yeah, I can't no, cover it. I've got to pick my eyes. I love that as well. Yeah. Yeah. That scene of you've got the three crimes going on. Yeah. You've got the uh, they're robbed there, graffiti in a bank, there's a guy robbing a convenience store and yeah. then there's some thugs on a train who are going to beat up that guy yeah. who gets off. Yeah. And he's like, oh, yeah, I can't be everywhere at once. They see the signal. But the signal comes on and then you see the guys like yeah. The, the, I love that shot of the guy who's graffiti in the bank and he drops the can and it rolls into darkness and he's like, I don't want to go in yeah. there. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, he's he's saying, Batman's about to go there. Yeah. That, <laughs> my favourite shot of the whole film mm. is when that, uh, the drop... Yeah, the guy with the mask on. Yeah, the, the onion-looking green thing. Mm. is when he, he looks up, he backs off, and then he gets hit by a, a car, car and then he looks up and it's just like a really narrow street. Mm. There's a lamp on the left-hand side, it's pissing down with rain and it's just a dark yeah, street, yeah, and he's yeah. just, it's slowly looking into it, that is my favourite shot of the movie, because like, that's like what, two minutes, three yeah, minutes yeah. into the movie, and I'm just like, this is the atmosphere that I want. Mm. Yeah. The fact it's raining for like the whole yeah, film. It's yeah. it, the, the, well. Gotham is a character in that film, yeah, yeah. and it is so well done. It's one of, it's one of the more well-realised Gothams I've seen, yeah. because you have um, Tim Burton's very stylistic yeah. gothic architecture gothic looking yeah. and then the Dark Knight's very modern New York looking mm, yeah. stuff but this is like a really good mix of the two so, yeah. I mean we, we don't see a lot of it all we really see is sort of the Iceberg Lounge yeah. the train station a bit around the beginning and then like, you sort of see the Wayne Tower which looks like it's in a separate part of the city yeah. anyway but it looks like slums it looks it's not a very nice place to live yeah, and they sort of mentioned a few times like Gotham's like eating itself it's mm. not He's, 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 in his narration, he's like, well, I've been doing this for two years. I'm not sure I'm making a difference. Yeah, murdering yeah. crime are up. Yeah. Like, what am yeah. I doing? And I've had this called like, the Gotham Project. And it's just, yeah, it's just it's just so... And the thing... I love lots of things about this film, but the fact that this film follows him for the film, mm-hmm. I think he's pretty much in every scene mm. or he shows up halfway through the scene if he's not in it at the beginning. Yeah. It follows him work him and Gordon working this story out. It doesn't go off to Riddler showing him doing stuff or going off to like Penguin showing him doing stuff. It's very much like them it's, where, it's like you're it's like you're with Jim and Batman this is what happens in the comics. Yeah, yeah, the 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 but it's, it's where I've seen a lot of people comparing it to Seven. 
yeah. where you're with Morgan Freeman and um, Brad Pitt, Brad Pitt for yeah. most of the entire film. It's only when John Doe shows up at the end and it's yeah. Malkovich. Yeah, you know that you, you, that's the only time you see him. Well, Bridger's in the kill. You see him kill a couple mm. of times. Yes. But he's mainly just on the phone yeah. or a web thing or something on the internet, isn't he? Yeah. Actually, no. I suppose the first kill. Yeah, Batman is involved. Oh, yeah, yeah. But he, he shows up later. That's such a good. I'll just say as well. I. When we opened that shot opened of the guy breathing heavily through the mask, I figured that might be Riddler, but I thought, and it, uh, you see a guy, little kid playing, and then his parents come to take him out. Yeah. I was like, we're not going to go through the Bruce, the Martha, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Swain. I, I think that yeah. was kind of a double bluff. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's what I like about that. It's like, oh, okay, thanks. But I found yeah. afterwards, you, after obviously. It's, how, many, how many times can Thomas and Martha get gunned down in the. Yeah. In the end well, the even after you see the whole crime <laughs> thing, as he's leaving the crime scene, you see sees the kid, and, yeah. and it sort of flashes back oh. to him. The man like, emotion that it just comes out from his eyes yes. when he looks at that kid. The kid looks at him and he's <laughs> you like... You and I in the cinema looked at each other and said, hey, how do you fancy wearing spandex? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, you just, make a good Robin. You make a good Robin. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like, um, yeah. No, it was, yeah, it's just such yeah. a great... I mean, it's, 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 like, it's, it's almost like a reminder for him that this is exactly what he's trying to yeah. say. Yeah. yeah, this is why you're doing what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah, so he's on all the way So Patterson is Bat. I mean, he's Batman for like the whole film, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. The only time he's not Batman is when he goes to a funeral, yeah. and the only reason he's going there is to find Riddler. It's not to be Bruce Wayne, yeah. like, multi-billionaire. Yeah. Look at me. It's like I'm going there because mm. he thinks the Riddler's going to show up because he because yeah. th- he wants to like mm-hmm. like so revel in and mm-hmm. he's so like antisocial. There's even a bit where he like um, Alfred's trying to do the cipher and he wakes up and he like puts sunglasses on because he says like I'm, I'm nocturnal yeah, yeah. Yeah. He, he, he looks up at the light and he's like my eyes where yeah, are he's, like, he's like god damn it and he's like, he's like that, he's yeah. that and he's just so I say he's depressed but he just doesn't care like Alfred still says to him during the film like you need to be Bruce Wayne he goes I don't care about Bruce Wayne I don't mm. care about mm. that this is my mission yeah. and I need to for my parents I need to do this and it's just it's such a cool because most of like, I think nearly I guess maybe the 89, like the Keaton Batman was a bit of a recluse as well. Mm. But it's not like he was a recluse because he was focusing on Batman so much as he didn't do socialising. Yeah. And then mm. they did, with, with the Nolan ones, it was very much like, they used to pretend to be this mm. so people don't think you're Batman. And then the, the um, Affleck ones, they sort of didn't really, they only had that one scene where it to break into Lex's thing. Was there a, yeah. yeah, he went to the party, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. So there are a couple of parts in the film as well when he realises that being, oh, being not being Batman opens a few more doors to him. Yes, when he because skipping ahead, but when he gets to the iceberg lounge for the first time and he turns up in Batman, I was like, holy shit! And then Bruce goes, "Fuck's this guy!" And he just beats him up and goes in. Yeah. Then the second time he goes there is when he's Bruce Wayne, yeah, and that gets him further into because everyone thinks he's the vulnerable young kid. And lets yeah, him in. yeah, so it's yeah. It's, and then him, he's a pretty good. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah <laughs> I did love that view because he thought he was with Selina, didn't he? he? Walks up to him and then like, well, well, and like, because I think it's a pretty good. He goes, "Well, it's a pretty good thing." Yeah, he's like, and I love the way in that scene as well, it, the funeral where you meet Falcone. Mm. Is they re- he retells the story of what happens in the Long Halloween where mm-hmm. he goes to Thomas Wayne, yeah, and Thomas Wayne hit, fixes him up on the dining room table or mm-hmm. wherever it is at Wayne Manor. I just like, oh fuck, they go for that storyline mm-hmm. where like the Waynes aren't actually the perfect mm-hmm. pet like well, people. They, as you said, this his dad took the Hippocratic to go, so he's there to save his life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not like in the animated version of long Halloween where they're like okay I respect the fact that you saved me so we're going to have like a bit of quid pro quo but I'll leave you alone it's like no yeah. now you're in my pocket because you're yeah. the one person that refused to give me money yes, yes. so then yeah. the yeah. other thing that I like about the way they do that is that I can believe that that version of Thomas and Martha mm. in Flashpoint could become Batman oh, the killer yeah. and she could become especially if she's had some mental exactly going yeah. on. Well, you, yeah. like, you see the one in Batman Begins they're so perfect I can never believe that they would ever turn yeah. into that yeah with that little bit of history just in those few dialogues yeah, I'm quite like, curious with, with, the, with the her being being part of Arkham because I only, I only read I've only read that in Batman Earth 1 mm. where I've never read it in anything else where she's like her surname's Arkham and she's actually part of the Arkham mm. storyline um, family line and she was yeah mental because her mum killed her dad and then committed suicide mm. I don't know if that's in a story before the Earth 1 which only came out like a few years ago mm. so it's quite interesting to take that concept yeah, on they, it, you say they take a lot of year one Long Halloween uh, and Earth, Earth, Earth One, one yeah, for yeah. its inspiration here, which is keeping it grounded in the early years. Yeah, yeah. even like the Earth One bits where he's just like he's in, he's got like boots on, his costume's very basic, it's and very he like functional. makes mistakes. Yeah. Which are, another thing about the film because he's two years into his career, he makes mistakes. He's not still perfect. gets hit, yeah, yeah. He gets shot at, yeah, yeah. He gets shot at. He gets like when he tries to glide down, it's like the first time he like gets to the top. He's how? like, he's like, fuck, this is high. Yeah, it's like what's well, the only thing? That's the only thing about him that might not well, bugs me is how the fuck he didn't die when he slammed into the sign at sixty yes, miles an hour. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's it a good thing that, that that suit has got to be pretty well. Well, it takes bullets. Well, it takes like, bullets. Zero, yeah, zero, so. zero point. 
Yeah. Um, that must have been a lesson he learned really early on in his career is that the torso is where everyone shoots, so I need the most arms yeah. in front of yeah. it. So, so. Mm. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, I really enjoyed Patterson. I know those people were sketchy about it, but I actually really enjoyed. Well, the, the real the out. real acting test is going to be if they do a trilogy with this, as they've been saying, whether he's going to then try to come out as Bruce Shell to be more Bruce Wayne. Yeah. How he brings that Bruce Wayne personality. Yeah. 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 But if they can, if they can keep it, because it'll be the first time I think I've seen it on screen where Bruce that Bruce Wayne feels like a mask of somebody. Like he says in this one, he's like he's the Batman. Mm. Yeah. So this it won't be like in the Dark Knight series where. Like he's Bruce the whole time, and Batman's there, and yeah, like yeah. he still feels like a human. It'll be like a, a Bruce Wayne suit that he yeah. learns yes. to put on. Yeah, yeah it's got a Riddler system at the end, right? Yeah. So yeah, I mean, Roger Patterson. Um, I think the the thing that sold me so much on Patterson was that first scene where they walk into the crime scene with all the yeah. cops, and he's mm. just slow. It's the way he moves. It's so slowly, and I feel like. It doesn't feel like he has any fear. He's in complete control, mm. and it's just the way he just slowly like moves his head around oh, to look for evidence. And because as we find out later, he's got these contacts in, and the reason yeah, why, that's he's, that's he's, why he's moving his head, he's scanning the room so we can come back to it later. Yeah. But like you say, for somebody idea. who's just looking at him, he just looks like a spectre moving through the room. Yeah, and coming back again. He's in a building where he look, looks at the floor, and then all people go, "Oh, what the hell is yeah. this?" He's got the index. Another one. Yeah, he breaks another one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I, yeah, I love that bit as well. The fact he's got like contact in that he can then play everything back, yeah. and then he writes everything down so he can become better. And he would just be able to look, look at the cipher and be like, because yeah. he didn't take the card with him. I was like, how the fuck is he going to work out the cipher? He just takes a picture and flips it, prints it off, and he's like, oh. I love it as well when like the commissioner comes in, and is having a go at Jim. Like, Get him out of my crime! Like, yeah. How are you doing? And then he's just like, he lies still. Yeah. And like, what the hell? And he's like, that's the rule. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's like, he's detective. I've always we've always said we wanted a detective yeah, man. <laughs> this is a this is a detective story. It's yeah, 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 yeah. So and I really enjoy him and Jim's partnership. Like, yeah, I kind of would love to see, or I've got a flashback of why they're so. Like, what I mean, you could guess it's from like year like the year one comic book. You could guess that's what happened, mm. but why Jim has such trust in Batman. Yeah, and vice mm. and, and I think and that's what the TV show would have hinted at. Yeah, but they changed it now to an arc. And... Mm. Yeah, because it's quite curious. Because literally, Jim, like even when like Batman, I mean, we're jumping all over the place. Apologies for this. When Batman, when he gets blown up and he's like knocked out, the police commissioner, um, the police, yeah, there's stickers, no hesitation. And he's yeah. just like, no, let me have a load too. And literally, the first <laughs> thing he says, "We're gonna get you out of here. Yeah. Take this the key, key yeah. down that hallway, get out of the roof. roof." And like, there isn't, there isn't any sort of hesitation that like you, you should fall or anything. There is a bit. Of, it's a bit weird how the cops sort of. The rest of the police force <clears throat> flip flop between hate him <coughs> and like him. You think, yeah. you'd think after the incident in that, that scene when he punches Gordon and escapes and all the cops shooting at him, that they would not be working with him after that. And it'd just be him and Gordon the rest of the film, but they all seem to have come together. Yeah. So. I think, I guess, because they, they realise that he's actually trying to help and actually they do apprehend yeah. the Riddler, I guess. But yeah. yeah. So it's like the guy at the beginning who's like puts his hand on Batman. He's like, You're not allowed in here. And yeah. he's, he's with me. And then later on, he helps him in mm. Riddler's like, flat. Yeah. He says, My uncle. Does, uh, carpentry, carpentry yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's yeah. Like, carpentry, carpentry. He's like, ah, they, what the hell are you doing? He just yeah. rips the carpet up. But yeah, like, just, just all the all the little like the the whole clue thing that the Riddler put. I mean, like, let's talk about the Riddler. I guess is the one that was like the main mm. main bad guy. I didn't think I was gonna like it because because you know, of his look and everything, and I really liked the sort of comic book Riddler. But they actually did quite a good job putting the whole clues about the next person mm. he's gonna kill into it which mm. kind of does work with how it works and they're, and they're actually really mm. clever it wasn't just a clue written down they had to solve it was like a cipher that you have to then do then to get that drive yeah. go to the car thumb get drive. a thumb drive <laughs> yeah thumb drive. <laughs> try this, this. guy's hilarious yeah <laughs> <laughs> I get on the side note that I didn't wonder what because uh, they obviously put it in Gordon's laptop and then it sends all the photos to the police yes. what would have happened if you'd taken it back to Wayne Manor <laughs> yeah very yeah. yeah. Wayne at batman.com yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like Batcave.com what, what the hell <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, but yeah, the whole the whole and the fact that all the clues like you find out at the end mm. that Riddler did all that so that Batman would help him get Falcone out of that club. Because he's mm. like, I've I've got the brains to figure out the connections and find out. But, what I, haven't problems, but, I, haven't, but I haven't got Russell or even yeah. the resources to, mm. and you yeah. you're a tool I can use. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and then they were like, because at the end when he's like, he's like, oh yeah, we were partners, we did it together, and Batman's like, no, yeah. we didn't. No. Cool. What the fuck are you doing there? Yeah, I thought, and he and like the. The fact you don't see him out of costume like the whole film until right at the end where he's in the coffee shop. Because mm. so he's, good. Who he is isn't as important as what he's trying to do. Yeah, yeah. well, who he is is, is the mask, right? Because yeah. he says in the archive, he's like, 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 like you, but it's like with a mask underneath mm-hmm. his front. Yeah, yeah he's, he's, act, he's like, I can't remember if I've ever seen him in anything else, but he's acting in that Arkham scene 
I got so say, good. I wasn't, yeah, like you say, the moment that sold me on him was right at the end there when he's, and spoilers, I guess people are already spoiling. Yeah. It's when he starts being Bruce Wayne. And yeah. You can see Pattinson's like, shit. And then he's like, Bruce Wayne. Like, yeah. The only one we didn't get. And so, like, yeah. the way he's like piping it up, yes. you yeah, can't yeah. tell. Yeah, yeah. It's just. Yeah, no, it was, it was so good. It made him really threatening as well. Yeah. Because like, in the comics, he's a very. He's a very comic book character, yeah. isn't he? He's like he's not really a threat. He's just testing also, Batman's knowledge, pretty much. Really unstable because whenever somebody says that he didn't like, he went off on one, yeah, like, screaming and yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And he, yeah, and he started singing as well, didn't he? Yeah, he's a choir boy. Yeah, mm. but yeah, it was. Uh... I thought, yeah, I thought he did a really good job, and he's really cool. And I absolutely love. Yeah, him. and the good thing is they didn't kill him off. No, no. So he's I very much think he's going to come to the, come out and make the next one or the one after. Yeah. Well, given that um, not the really end credits tease, but right at the end of the film when he's in Arkham, mm. when he's uh, talking to the unknown inmate, unknown inmates, mm. aka the Joker. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Or at least I'm presuming it's to be the Joker. That's, yeah. the, that's the bit I'm not sold on. No, I, I just said to you when we lived in cinema, like I'm quite happy for them to tease that he's in that universe and leave him there. Yeah. And then we can have the next three films be other characters. Yeah, I just, I just but... hope they don't bring him like, oh, the Joker's the next one again. Because yeah. I, I love the Joker as a character, but he's done been done so much. Mm. They kind of need to give it other, the other rogues gallery to... Yeah. to... Yeah. I wasn't sold on his... I know it's, it's really... Because it's, like, it's just one little scene and it probably hasn't perfected anything, but I didn't like his laugh at all. <laughs> and I didn't like the way he talked. Like, the one thing I liked about his laugh is he seemed very young. Mm. Which I did like, because I was like, oh, okay. So, so, I mean, are you going down the route of that Batman has already thrown him into chemicals? So he's yeah. the Joker, he's the Joker? Or they yeah, because they, they, they kind of zoom in on his face, but it is quite in the shadows. It looks kind of scarred. It does look like it's already scarred. Yeah, yeah. and I guess he's got green hair or whatever. But yeah, yeah I, 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 was, I will see about that. Because it was the guy from Eternals, I can't remember his name. The yeah, Irish guy. the Irish guy who couldn't like, control people in Eternals is the guy who yeah. plays him, right? So yeah, I'd be curious to see if he's either maybe t- like teased again in the next one mm. or the fact that people are going to get so hyped up that they're going to have to put him as the main bad guy. I would hope they didn't. Like you say, I think some of the rumours we've heard of maybe they do wait. Matt Reeves wants to do a Heart of Ice style yes. free story, mm. which yeah. would be kind of cool. And that's a Court of Owls. I was going to say it's a character we haven't seen on the screen before, but I'm forgetting, of course, about... Yeah, but like doing a proper version. <laughs> doing a proper version. A grounded, oh, yeah. a grounded version. I saw a picture of somebody <laughs> edited... Uh, Mark Strong as oh that would be fucking awesome oh no that's, that's, that's with stunt the... casting of the highest yeah, yeah. Uh, stays <laughs> I'd say yeah that'd be that is beautiful dangerous. I love I love Mark Strong anyway so yeah, yeah that would be amazing you made a good Sinestro so <laughs> you did oh. um, but yeah uh, I, do you know what I would really like is I would like them to do another two films with say Mr Freeze and then say do somebody else on the third one and they've all gone into Arkham at the end because they've all been arrested. And Joker is putting a team together. Yeah, that would be so it'd be, a, it'd be a proper rogues gallery trying to take out the yeah. Batman. That'd be awesome. Oh yeah, I can see that happening. But happen. then there's also part of me when the first clue came out because obviously you saw it in the trailers, but you just saw the green envelope. Yeah. But when you see the card, it's got a fucking owl on it. And yeah. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa what's going on? And I then was, I was one. Well, if if the court of was going to make an appearance in this, but I mean, but the thing is, you've got the. The uh, the DA when mm. he has the bomb strapped around his neck and then the Riddler gives him three riddles and then the third one he wants to give up the rat and the yeah. name and he doesn't and he's like no it's too many people they'll kill me and I was just thinking the whole time oh we've got to talk about the court of mm. <laughs> and there's part of me that makes you think I oh, know he's thinking about Falcone yeah. yeah but there's also a part of me that's thinking no it's a double bluff and it's also the the uh, the court mm. maybe. I mean it it could be the court's been working behind the scenes the whole time they've been happy with Falcone in charge because they mm. some he's kind of not someone they can control but they can nudge yeah. they, they've got what they want now there's a huge well, power gap not, not anymore but yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. So. well yeah to talk, to, I mean like the guy who played I can't remember his name is, but he's um, obviously in, in Transformers Six Seven Six to Seven Simmons it's highly top secret <laughs> 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 yeah. um, but I thought he really did a really good job as Falcone I really, yeah, yeah. I really liked him as Falcone <laughs> Um, Very godfather he was. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And the other person, I mean, the, the, the person that surprised me the most, mm. like absolutely freaking loved, was Colin Farrell yeah. as mm. Penguin. I was not expecting very much. At I'm all. not sure why you cast him like, like him and put him under a lot of makeup, but he and, played it so. And well. he was, he was, yeah. he was saying, like, oh, "I'm only here for like five minutes." And he was yeah. here for fucking way longer than five minutes. And, and he was potentially in going a sequel because he's now in and his own TV mm. show potentially. Yeah. And he's absolutely, he was great. I honestly, thought when they first cast everyone, mm. I thought. Um, he was going to be Alfred. I thought um, Andy Circus. Andy good. Circus was going to be Penguin because I was like, because yeah. someone someone mocked him at a picture of him on mm. Google Images somewhere of him as the Penguin. He looks fucking awesome. I was like, oh, Andy Circus is Penguin. That'd be awesome. Mm. Well, neither the other round. I was like, really? <laughs> but actually, he mm. played it. He was just so good at that role. You, you didn't even recognise it was mm. him. I'm never. Uh, you know me. I'm you never a fan the of the Penguin. I don't like the Penguin very yeah. much at all. 
as a character, but this wasn't the gimmicky penguin. I either, fucking so. loved the penguin in this film. Yeah, yeah he was great, he was and, so and the fact good. he had the twins as his like little oh, bunch. Yeah. And it, like, even when it's raining, they got the umbrella. I mean, I know it was like because it's raining, they had yeah. umbrellas, but they just had umbrellas. Yeah. I was like, yeah, good way of making it. <laughs> you got umbrellas, your penguins, goons. Mm. Mm. But yeah, he was just yeah. Like every moment he was on the screen, it was just like yeah, was really, he's great. Anyway. Great casting all round. Mm. Yeah, even yeah. Andy Circus, who I mean, he didn't get a lot of time as um, Alfred, Alfred yeah. but he did have a good through line to Bruce. But firstly, in the cave about um, yeah. couple weeks. and I've coming back to year one as well. He's got more of a military background. But so he's, he's trained. As well, I quite like as well. He, he trained Batman yeah. to fight, so he's more of a brawler than a ninja. Yeah. I like the fight. way he's got his own maid. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a bad fucking time. I'm not answering the phone. That's what <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I enjoy, I enjoy, yeah, the whole thing. He's one of the security for Tom, uh, for yeah, Tom's the fact that like, yeah, you, you, you need some cuffings, yeah, you can have mine. He goes, Oh, you're Wayne, he goes, Well, your father gave me these, and he's like, yeah. Oh, okay, mm-hmm. sorry, yeah, yeah, and he because you, you I cried like a baby when in the hospital, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Up, yeah, I was, I was, oh. when, he, when he said, like, I, 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 was, I was in charge of protecting him, I failed, yeah, I was like, Man, and then he was yeah. talking about so you were just a 10 year old boy, yeah, yeah. yeah and, 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 you, you, and you, and you should be responsible, and then when, when he starts going on about, I thought I conquered that fear, yeah, yeah, yeah. a long time ago, and then he's like. And then Alfred's like looking at him, like, what are you talking about? And he's like, when I felt like I was going to lose somebody else, I was going to love. Yeah, yeah. And, then, it's just, and then he holds his hand out. Yeah, man. Like, Fuck. Fucking beautiful. It's, it's brilliant. You don't, most Alfreds are always that sort of fatherly figure towards Bruce. Yeah. yeah. It seems to be Bruce is pushing. But you see them biting heads at the start, yeah. and then yeah. they, yeah. you get to see yeah, that development yeah, yeah, rather yeah. than just knowing it from the. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, sure at the beginning, I thought he like really didn't like Alfred at all. He's just like, mm. fucking fuck off, Alfred. Yeah. Yeah. But the fact they had that, yeah, that, I mean, maybe that moment of him nearly dying. Woke him up. Made, made me finally yeah. realise it. But yeah, that moment yeah. in the I cried as well. I was like, watching it game. Fuck me, Bruce. You're also mm. like, mm. fucking great. In fact, that also, a lot of people, I've seen some few people talk, complaining about it in the scene as well when he's talking about how Alfred knew about the deal Thomas made with Falcone. Falcone yeah. Mm. And why he kept it secret. And he's like, no, no, it's because my job was to protect the Waynes. So yes. I need to make sure that, you know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and even even the story about Falcone saying Maroni killed your, your parents, yeah. and then <laughs> Alfred's like, well, actually, I think it was Falcone. Falcone killed your parents. There's no actual proof. So it's not like Bruce can go. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like he would kill Falcone anyway. We're going to beat the show. I mean, like you kill my parents, and then be like, where's the proof? And it's like, oh, yeah, damn it. And yeah. also, we're probably keeping it quiet to keep Bruce safe. Yes, because yeah. like, they're going to kill him. They probably kill yeah. them. Yeah. And the other good throwaway line in that is where he's like. I, I, I couldn't prove it. It might just be some guy had a bad day, pulled the trigger too early. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, it could be that as well. Exactly it's, what it was in the, in the It's comics. so good. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, you know, this, this, the, the way that Falcone plays it so quiet on the, off the cuff, because mm. uh, when he gets when he gets the end, you find out that he orchestrated the this, that big drug, the subplot about that big drug bus of South, of South yes. Carolina got taken mm. down. His entire operation got taken out, and it made the DA, it made the mayor, yeah, and it made the commissioner. commissioner. And it turns out that yeah, Falcone orchestrated all of that just to take him out, and then it just immediately restarted the drug business under his own name. Mm. It's yeah. like if a man can do that kind of stuff and still mm. be as evil as he wants, yeah. oh, k- kill Selena's mother yeah, exactly. and yeah, and the other girl. Let's talk about Selena as well. Yeah, I really enjoyed her. I really enjoyed Zoe Kravitz as <laughs> yeah. Catwoman. Actually, she was finally get a proper cat burglar. Yeah. Mm. Well, I suppose Anne Hathaway was a little bit. Yeah. The, the, the fact her suit is like practical is basically like a biker suit. A biker suit. Yeah. Similar, similar I, I do to hope that they get, she gets a proper yeah. like helmet with goggles in the next one. But That's what just... I was thinking. I was thinking Bruce showed her and gave her the uh, the lenses. Yeah. yeah. And she might take that. I do go. That's actually really good. But she can't afford Bruce's technology, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so she just makes up some goggles yeah. to do the similar thing. Yeah. When she goes to Bloodhaven or whatever. But she's got the the balaclava she wears kind of has the points. Yeah. 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 Theory. So maybe she takes from Bruce's or from Batman's. Yeah, yeah I think that's idea that if I have a helmet as well. The other thing is because when she was talking about well, we could be a team, you and me, and then she's like the bat and the cat. Yeah. Well, that's going to be a good rhyme. It's like she just thought of it just yes. there and then. Mm. So yeah, that's that's why I hope it goes. Yeah. No, I, 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 <laughs> But yeah, as you say, she sort of snuck in and did that safe so quickly. Even Batman's like, "You're really good at that." Yeah, that <laughs> like, well, the, fact, the fact that he got he was in either in there waiting for yes. it or he would he followed her in and yeah. was like, "I'm just going to quietly walk up to you." Yeah, yeah. yeah. and as well, it, it was she's skilled combatant. She see, yeah. you know, Jimmy starts attacking him, but he yeah. really he easily overpowers her. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, I'm just here to talk to you. It's like, yeah, yeah. 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 I love that because I love that in like even the animated shows or the movies or the the comics where they always use like a sky like. To get yes. to come in, yeah. and it's like yes, they finally do. And I just love the way you just you don't see him come in, but you just see him take the grapple gun like he's just yeah, landed. Just landed yeah. Oh, it's so good. Just the little things like that that mm. I love. And that's <laughs> why I think Matt Reeves. I saw an interview with Zoe. She says she's never worked with somebody 
takes so much detail in every mm. scene and I felt that in the film I felt that like every shot every angle yeah. had been thought about I mean it's like, it's like a nearly three hour movie right I couldn't yeah. think of one thing you would want to take out no you know, it needs everything in it. there's All even the, the little bit um, near the end where uh, he's take, like taking the power out of the club and there's one really like five second shot of him opening the elevator shaft and just grapple gun, yeah. gunning up yeah. the elevator I was just like, it's fucking from like every comic book or cartoon I've ever seen, he does that. Like, you see that all the yeah. time. Mm. It's like a five second shot and it just was perfect. Yeah. yeah. Fucking perfectly shot. I was like, oh, that was great. It's when you've got a creative vision behind you that you know you want, what you want to yeah. see on the screen rather than editing it. And then, like, even the fight scenes. Like, oh, they, stuff, yeah, I'm great though. You know, there's only a few of them in there. I should say that because obviously it's not a huge action film, it's more of a detective. No, film. yeah. And when Batman fights, he's brawling and he's taking yeah. out the villains he needs to. He takes hits, a lot of hits. But mm. they're all shot, I don't want to say similar to the John Wick style, but or even the old sort of martial arts movies where it's a single pan camera shot moving left and right mm. following them but they're all they're not the Liam Neeson 30 cut jumping over a fence yeah. style action or, or zoomed out because you can't get the stunt to do what you want it to do yeah yeah, yeah well, you, had the, you had the fight in the train the train station at the beginning yep. you had the bit in the club you probably had the or you had the bit in the hallway which you never really see but which was awesome and then you had the bit at the end mm. in the um, garden guard yeah what, Saint, uh, oh, wherever yeah. it was what it was called the big arena where they yeah, had yeah. the final that's it really yeah. like, and then the car chase but that wasn't really that's not really him fighting but yeah mm. but yeah it was, all, it was all just it was you can say, again it was because he was two years into his career he's not the perfect fighter he's taking lots of hits and um it's just, you still figure out who he is and what, how he's yeah, going to do it doesn't yeah. it which he does kind of get a bit closer towards the end which is great yeah yeah, yeah. I mean the other big character in the movie the car <laughs> fuck me so yeah Stu Batmobiles um, I, know, I need to yeah. put it in here somehow but dear god like, if you if you haven't seen this film we have <laughs> go and see an IMAX because that scene when that Batmobile starts up in that dockyard it, it's you barely a, feel it in your yeah. skin yeah. sh- whole it's, cinema it's barely, shook it's barely a car it's, it's, a, it's a jet engine yeah on wheels on wheels <laughs> it's um yeah the sound the, when it's revving up Oh, why so they? Don't, why good. they? Yeah, uh, yeah, fair enough. He's just doing it for shock and awe, Batman. But why the villains don't just go fuck and just yeah. run away? Yeah. He's like rubbing it for hours. It's yeah, like, it was just it was uh, that, that whole ch- ch- chasing the way it was shot with like the cameras mounted on the side and like little shot yeah. of, you sort of mounted looking into Penguin's windows. Yeah, like. it's like you're sitting on the back seat looking yeah. over his shoulder. Like, it, feel, it feels very quick and close and dirty because mm. it's a, it's not a. Big action, big action scene. Yeah. It's two of the people down a highway trying to get each other. It's yeah. Like, yeah, in the got, rain with lots in, of traffic. So if you're that close to them, you mm. get the sense that you're in there with it. It's yeah, oh, the fact is mostly practical. I mean, uh, the, the, even the bit where they jump through mm. that fire was a practical. That's shot. one of the only things that slightly niggles me in the movie is that when Penguin causes that crash, it just happens to line up a transporter so he can jump out of it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's just like I mean, yeah. it's slightly coincidental, but it's just... comic books. But yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That was, yeah, that, that car. I was like, when I first saw a, a, yeah. a picture of it, I was like, meh. But actually, it's fucking, it's great. Yeah. You can tell that somewhere in the last two years, he's needed to build, he's, he's needed, he had to do something. You saw see it being built during the film. Yeah. You know, it's like right at the end of the film where he's using he's the bike. The engine's like, the engine's like separated yeah. those yeah. bits everywhere. So he's obviously building it during yeah. well, that's what I mean. It's like, yeah. it feels like to me, somewhere in the last two years, he's needed a car, hasn't had it. Yeah. So, right, I'm going to build the thing I need to do the tool, the tool I need yeah. to do the job. And even like you don't see much of it, but even the sort of bat bunker that's yeah. underneath Wayne Tower is really cool as well. Mm. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see if in the next one he moves back to Wayne Manor. Was, was Wayne, right, to clarify, was Wayne Manor the old orphanage? Is that what they turned? Is that what they replied? <laughs> Maybe. Because uh, it feels like he's been living out the tower in the centre of the city since he was a kid. Yeah. yeah. So, and then they say that um, after the Waynes died, they donated a bunch of stuff. Yeah. And I think that's, it was implied that the, the orphanage was the, orphanage the, was the, the one old Wayne Manor. Yeah. Because I'd I'd love it for him to sort them out, get them a proper mm. orphanage. Well, they were the drug, the the, the drug, drug um, what do they call them? Drop it, drop the drop heads, heads, drop heads, yeah. yeah. Get them out, get them sorted, get the manor back. Yeah. Have the back cave underneath, but then have a connection to that uh, sub uh, thing. Because yeah. it's such a good idea of having a train station mm. that's abandoned. Because then you've got all the you can tunnels kind of, around the tunnels around the city. You can get to it from near anywhere in the city. Yeah, exactly. So. so it'd be great to expand on that. I don't know they don't before. I definitely remember in when Dick Grayson came Batman for a bit. They had he stayed in the Bat Bunker rather than Wayne Manor. It felt odd. <laughs> it was underneath Wayne Tower. Yeah. So it's not a new concept, but yeah. I really no, yeah. That. Um. What else? Um. I mean, the other the other really cool thing I thought in this film as well is that the sort of realization at the end that he has. That he needs to be more than vengeance. Yeah, 
Yeah. Like, he said, cause he caught, cause people Especially even, when that guy says, you know, what, what are yeah, you? Really he goes, I'm vengeance. And he's just like, I don't want to turn into that. Yeah, when he goes, I'm inspiring the wrong people. I think. Yeah. Like, but it's like, but people even call him vengeance. People don't call him Batman. Like, sh- like Catwoman's like, come on, Vengeance, let's go. And, then, like, all this <laughs> and Penguin's stuff. like, Vengeance is like, shoot. Yeah, yeah, hey, Mr. Vengeance over yeah. here. Like, <laughs> um, yeah, I really, I was a really cool moment where that guy, yeah, the guy goes, I'm Vengeance. And he just, you got this look again with his eyes. He just mm. looks at me, he's just like, mm. I need to be more than that. I need to, so the narration at the end is like, I realise now I need to be more. Well, Especially to- when he, he moves the debris out of the way and then tries to free it. And he, yeah. No one takes it but then the kid does. But the kid yeah. does, yeah. yeah. And then they're like, right, okay, and then, we, and then, and then he leads them all out with, with the flare. flare. Oh, it's yeah. so good. So people can start following. But yeah. you get that of hope. throughout the film as well that you get the uh, the realisation that the, the Wayne Renewal Fund, which he was quite happy to leave because he thought it was doing the job it needed to yeah. do, has actually been completely co-opted by Falcone mm. and it's being used to pay all the drug spices. So I could get that back and then the mayor, the new mayor, the, the yeah, mayor, well Real, yeah, yeah, mayor yeah, she yeah. says to him, Oh yeah, I've got to talk to you. You're not doing enough for this city. Mm. It's not what I do. It's what I am. It's fine. Mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's just. Yeah. But yeah, like so, there's little hints of that throughout the movie mm. that imply that he's going to have to adopt, even if it's just a fake. A yeah, face, yeah. Just, just show a, face. Yeah. yeah. But, Write a lot of checks. Mm. Yeah. Especially though, know, at the end where he puts the girl on the the stretcher and then she won't let go of him. Yeah. Like, say, yeah. No, I feel safe with you. It's, oh, it's just such a good moment. Yeah, it's great. I was quite shocked at the end of like how I thought like the whole point of the movie like was Riddler got got Falcone. It was like bring him into like kill him. I was like oh, okay, great. Yeah. But then Riddler's next plan was to flood the whole city. I was like Jesus mm. Christ, and he did it as well. Yeah. yeah, I'm kind of curious for the next film whether it's going to pick up directly after that, so it's still flooded and have to work stuff out, or it's going to be maybe with the TV shows in between. It can pass a year or two down the line. Mm. And the city's it's coming out not flooded anymore. Yeah, it's like coming yeah. back to normal, and how it might the be world's changed. Well, I don't know. it could be an opportunity in No Man's Land that if you want to go down that route. Yeah, I know. I, was, I, was, I kind of because he, he, he says, says like, like and he freezes it all, makes it into a <laughs> massive, massive ice rink. He, he, he says like like it, like it's martial laws in place, etc., etc. So U.S. guards on the way. So it'd be interesting to hope they have doing No Man's Land for the next one, mm. or maybe the No Man's Land is the, is a TV show that they might bring in, mm. and then the next movie is. After all that's been cleared up and the city's starting to grow again, something Pen- comes along and Penguin starts ruining and whoever yeah. else, kind of, or Penguins in it, like mm. become like the big mob boss, and there's someone else mm. who is like a super villain. He has to stop. And just mm. yeah, I mean, I can't get over how good. I thought this film was going to be good, and I was like, <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be detective, but the fact it's like so good. Mm. So I mean, the way good. it's shot. I mean, I take my hats off to the actors, but I feel like the people behind the scenes just nailed it. So much. When you think about how many props and stuff that Riddler apartment had, like how yeah. much oh. time and effort went into just that apartment. Yeah. All the crazy shit that was in it that mm. they had to build and mm. make and everything. It's just insane. Like, what I was thinking about it, as I say, there's actually hundreds of ledgers, I mean, maybe the ledgers were empty, there'd be like distressed old looking ledgers, mm-hmm. all the experimenty yeah. stuff they did. It's like, oh, it's very clever. So good. Very, very, very clever. The other thing as well, I was noticed, watching it the second time was. The guy that plays Tim Drake in Titans is at the start of the movie. Yes. The first, after watching the first time, I thought he had just said a couple of lines, but then when I watched the second time, he doesn't say anything apart from no, 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 when the guy tries to shoot him. Yeah. Yeah. And the amount of emotion and like story that he tells from just his expressions is so good because mm. you can see straight away that he's not quite happy being in this gang and he's yeah. like he doesn't want to hurt the guy. But it was the second time watching it going. He didn't actually say anything. <laughs> so that's some damn good acting. That's a little bit of visual storytelling there as well because all the other gang members have white faces. And he's only yeah. half. Yeah, yeah like, he's like, not, he's yeah. like he's not fully <clears throat> with them. Yeah. 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 You can say like, he filmed this before he joined Titans. So. Yeah, yeah. And he didn't tell the production team of Titans that he was in Batman. He wasn't <laughs> allowed to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So there's lots of like, little subtle visual shots throughout the film like you say that make it, it mm. deliberately done. So, oh, so like, many. I love the... The three times he goes to the Iceberg Lounge. It's the yeah. first time he knocks on the door as Batman. You're like, why the fuck are you Batman? Why are you doing this? But it's just like to prove a point. Yeah. Just... I, 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 well, I don't think he's he's not, again, maybe because he's early in his career, I don't think he's very stealthy yet, so he doesn't try it. He doesn't well, think, like, go thing. up to the top and like, and then he yeah, the third yeah. time. Yeah. Like, the second time he goes to Bruce Wayne because he realises he can get more information. Well, he always talked to him from Falcone about his parents yeah. and things. So. And then, like you say, the third time when he knocks on the door and open it and there's nothing there and then you see him... Yeah, yeah, he sneaks in. in. It's like, yeah. Yeah. Again, out of costume, then mm. runs in, puts the cowl on. Yeah. The other thing that I like is like at the beginning of the movie when he saves that guy from the the guys on the train. Mm. He's like, "Don't hurt me!" and he's scared of him. Yeah, yeah. But at the end of the movie, the, the girl won't let go of him yeah. because she she thinks he's the safe one to be around. Mm. I think that's just a great 
<laughs> story from start to finish. I love that. It's, you, just going back to what you're saying about visual and sound and storytelling is when the when he comes out of that tube station to take those smuggers on. Oh, yes. And just the slow thudding footsteps. You know, initially, I didn't like, like that. I was like, oh, man, he's going to be he's gonna be like a silent like ninja. He's not going like, to... deliberate. But, but even... But then I, I was like, thinking about going, actually, that's even scarier, like yeah. looking into the shadows and hearing these... Because he got there wet, without them yeah. knowing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's only when he wants to show himself. He yeah, like, like wet, those, those three crimes where people looking into the shadows yeah. and you're in the one where you can hear the footfalls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You fucking <laughs> run. Yeah. I couldn't tell if it was like sort of like... It felt like I was cowboy spurs or like it's just wet Yeah. Prince yeah, I think it's just wet squidgy, yeah. Because it's, just, yeah, it's but, a very similar effect when he's walking to Penguin when he's yes. upside down in the car. Yeah, and it's just, yeah the, the noise is just like, I, was like Gee, I wonder if that was. And like, his, look, his look is so good. Like, I wasn't a big fan of the suit. Yeah. But when you see it in the film, it yeah. works so well. It looks a lot like uh, something Lee Bomeho does in a lot of his stuff. Very practical looking. Yeah. Sort of yeah. Off, I don't, I, I'm still unsure on the cow. I won't mind them tweaking the cow, but the rest of it I loved. I even mean, like the fact that the, the grapple gun like pops out. No. Isn't it? It's not like he has to get out of the city, but it just like pops yeah. out and he fires it. I still love the thing. I remember mentioned a few times, but the, the fact he drives around on a bike in just normal clothes and can quickly change in and out. So, so people don't he didn't drive past. Be like, oh, look, Batman's driving past. It's like <laughs> yeah. just some random guy driving past. It's also quite like, unrealistic if he's like driving around in normal clothes and then a sudden. <laughs> Oh, I see somebody. Then the next scene, he's in full costume. Yeah. Like, how the hell did you change so far? Yeah, because literally, it's just cow, just take cow, cow, yeah, and then like take the jacket off and then you're ready yeah. to go. It's just it, yeah, it makes so much more sense. And the fact that they kept his black makeup on was great. Yeah, there's always been a thing in all the movies where it's just like, it's all especially pretty... returns when he <laughs> literally got it, then he rips off and then all of a sudden it's vanished. Yeah, you're yeah, like, yeah. ah, yeah, yeah that I've got my makeup scrubbers just below the eyes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, just get some makeup wipes. Wait, give me a second. There we go. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the fact that they, they just had it on and he just left it on the whole time was just so cool. Mm. Just, oh, <laughs> such a clever film. I you, love it. And even like all the, the sort of technology he uses, uh, looks quite. Some of it looks quite dated, like the bit where Selena goes into the club and she's got the eye um, contact in, mm. and they're still using this weird thing with like loads of like wires and shit, just trying to get the signal. Yeah, it was like a makeshift computer thing. It was so cool. And he's like scanning people. Like, stare at them longer. He goes stare at them longer. Things gonna mm. um, yeah yeah. So the little little details as well. Like um, I noticed it when I think it's the second time you're in Ozzy's office in the Iceberg Lounge. He's got this big glass office. You can never see the floor yeah. of the club. Obviously, one wall of that office overlooks the girls' changing rooms, mm. and it's like whether that's a one-way mirror for him to see through, or it's actual glass and he doesn't give a flying fuck. Mm. It's just such a scuzzy thing yeah. telling you about his character. Yeah, <laughs> it's just like mm. yeah. I'd be interested to see if they if, like, like if he's in charge, they'll make it into more of the Iceberg Lounge. Like the like sculpture in the middle, all that kind of stuff. Mm. Like if he film. goes full into the paint, I guess. I suppose it depends if he wants to. It'd be a good way of hiding who you like, because if he's going to become the kingpin kind of thing of yeah. mm. Gotham, you're like, oh, it's the penguin, but the cops don't know the identity of who the penguin is, so you can use it as a persona to hide. Mm. Maybe do they already know who he is? He's known as the penguin anyway. Oh, he calls himself Oz. <laughs> yeah, but everyone else knows him as the penguin. Uh, so. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, also a bit with him when they tied him up and they're like having a go at him, and he's just like, "What's this fucking Grails Grace detective yeah, dynamic yeah. duo? Like, <laughs> bad cop, bad shit, crazy." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and after a whole scene, he's like, "You know, I'm still here, right?" And they like drive off. And he's yeah, like, yeah. "Waddles," like because he's tied up like a penguin to try and get out. Yeah. It's like you sons of bitches. <laughs> <laughs> he's so great. He really was great. Mm. Uh, he had like when Selena went to take out, come on. And- it's, she like looks exactly like year one. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, she, yeah. She, 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 yeah. They definitely like some of the, even the stuff she's been doing when in all the premieres. She's been dressing very much like Cat- Catwoman yeah. would anyway. Yeah, yeah. She looks great. Yeah, she looks very good. So actually, she obviously uses a lot of wigs in her work in the Iceberg Lounge. Um, so she obviously knows how to disguise herself. Yeah, yeah. And there's that little shot as well when he's after he follows her out the club because he notices the, the, her boots match the ones mm. in the photo. Yeah, Rick coincidence, but. Um, and he's watching her in the apartment and she goes from comforting her friends to the room to change yeah. and she walks past like a rack of tools the burglar tools and like mm. stuff that's up yes, there yeah. well. <laughs> it's just like, and yeah. then just jumps out the window yeah yeah it was so cool when she did that <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah and I, and I did another one where he's talking to the penguin about the girl and suddenly he's, he's, the first thing he sees of Selena is the boots as she walks in mm. then he's talking to her and he's like, I don't even know who she is and he's like looks at the phone again and in the corner is just like Selena mm. like, out of focus and he's like yeah. wait a minute mm. and he just, I like, love that bit as well he goes it's the, it's the mayor and he's like Oh yeah, it is the man. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like you just go and then you slams him against the window. It's it's like, bullshit me. Yeah, like, I could have walked out any time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just like, yeah. Oh, yeah. So good. yeah. <laughs> he was so yeah. I was say he was so good as the penguin. Oh, oh man, that's a good film. 
Anything else? I think I've been covered like nearly everything. Yeah. I think it's just, it's such a good film on its own, but it also intrigues me so much to see more of this universe. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing that I think about that when you said it the other day. Like, bear in mind, this film started out as Deathstroke versus Batman with Matt Reeves' original idea. Yeah, yeah and then Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck. Affleck. Yeah. It's gone through so many iterations, and you've had COVID shut it down for t- to a year, a year yeah. while production, and they obviously rewrote a bit about moving things around to make production work. So I don't know if it benefited from having time to mature into this movie, mm. and whether if they rush the next one, it's just going to be, a, you know, mm. that's a, yeah. I'm sure they already have ideas. I'm glad. I'm glad it is doing really well as well. So, so Warner mm. Brothers aren't like, oh well, let's just let's, let's let's cancel that already. Yeah. Let's start interfering again, like we always do. Like let him do his thing. Yeah, so. I've been in interviews. I've watched Matt Reeves. They he said that they just let him do his thing. He explained what he wanted to do. He wanted mm. to do a, a noir detective story. I want to start early off in his career. It's got nothing ties with anything else. It's his own universe. Mm-hmm. And they just said, yeah, go for it. And they let him do it. Yeah. So. I also love that if he's an interviewer or something I read where he says he compares Bruce Wayne to Kurt Cobain. That's yes. why the, half the reason one of the Varna songs actually huh, in that okay. film yeah. is that man, he's like he's like a he's a famous person but he's a recluse and doesn't want to be famous. Yeah, because he was right. He likes to write to music, and he was halfway through the script when the um, something in the way came on, and that's when I made him think, oh, yeah, Kurt Cobain. Hmm. Yeah, he loves music, but he doesn't want to be in the limelight. Yeah. That'd be perfect for Bruce. And that's where, it, and then he's yeah. like, and then he put it in the film as well, twice. <laughs> no, I said, yeah, the soundtrack. I mean, the yeah. themes oh, so in good. that film as well. Like the, the Batman theme is mm. awesome. It's, it's 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 played in like three or four different ways during the film. Mm. It's like the heavy one, and yeah. there's like the sort of light one. one, and there's like the, the Catwoman one has bits of returns in it. Mm-hmm. So I've got the returns. And the original one's really good as well. Yeah. yeah, it's so eerie. It's great, especially when he kills the mayor at the start, and then like, oh yeah. Because I think it, he kills the guy. It's like no, there's no sound apart from him hitting him on the head. Yeah. And then when the tool flies off, and a, he goes to pick it up, that's when the music as well. Comes that's in. such a good introduction to we say about intros like, to the Riddler's character at the start of the film. Yeah. I've forgotten about that because he doesn't just he's there behind him. Watching. Riddle me this. Yeah. I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just in the shadows yeah. watching. Not only him. that, but he doesn't just take him out with one hit either. It's it's like he's there. He looks like he. You can tell it's his he's, first kill. He's yeah. nervous. He's yeah. what he's doing. He's waiting for the right yeah. moment. And he just screams and botches it. Yeah. And then he has to go and get the tool and just continue yeah. hitting because he's yeah. just like, it's such a panicked Yeah. Thing you can just him. see him going, okay, <clears throat> I need to get this right. My, yeah. Nervously first kill. Yeah. It's so good. And just, uh, this, is, this is the way he's in the shadows yes. there. And then just, you can basically just only see a little bit of reflection on his glasses. Mm. And then he just stands there and watches him for a good 30, 40 seconds. Yeah, while he's on the phone or something. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I suppose cool. the main question I need to ask you, having seen it twice now, mm. how does it hold up after a second year? I, I preferred it the second time. You did? Yeah, because <laughs> definitely the beginning bit, the whole bit where after the Riddler's like looking through the binoculars and it cuts to the voiceover, mm-hmm. that first part for me is the, my favourite, like 20 minutes, 30 minutes of the film. Yeah. And you just absorb it way more. Uh, yeah, I just oh, it was. Yeah, I'm quite curious because obviously it's a murder, sort of it's a murder mystery type twisty. There thing. was quite a few lines that I missed the first time watching it as well. Yeah. Like when the cop, uh, when he goes into Riddler's apartment and then he looks at the tool again, then he figures out to. I completely oh, missed that. What the dialogue was between him and the cop oh, saying, the cop "Oh, it's my like, uncle." My uncle, that's carpenter's tool. Yeah, yeah. I completely missed that the first time. Yeah. Um, what was the other line I missed? By the way, that was like stuck in with the last riddle in the cage. Yeah. He was meant to find it and then open the yeah. thing. Like he, like the riddler you're not as ass- smart as I thought you were. The Riddler assumed he knew what it was. Yes. Yeah. And he's like, oh, you're not as smart as I thought you were. Yeah, yeah. it's great. <laughs> it's just, there was another line I missed. So, oh yeah, that's why I brought you here because I wanted you to be safe in Arkham. When the yeah, went yeah, 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 yeah. So we can watch it together. Yeah. What do we do together? <laughs> what have you done? Where's the gun? <laughs> <laughs> Where's the gun? <laughs> Where's the gun? <laughs> this is a gun. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, w- I want to see it a third time, but I kind of want to wait a bit. Did you catch when they arrest him? Did you catch what the other name was on the two driver's licenses? Girl, yes, I, I, so it's Peter something. Uh, Peter Patrick, Patrick Parker, Patrick Parker. I, I, someone said, I saw a screen grab of it. Yeah, yeah, I saw a screen grab of it on, online. Yeah, yeah. the way the way apparently the cat- there's two aliases because I watched an Easter egg thing. There's, there are two aliases in the comics of who. Well, well Nashton was his original name. Yeah, yeah. When he was first introduced, I just wanted because that's one of the things that I. Maybe you saw it a bit more than when they mentioned Tommy Elliot. 
as mm. the reporter that was investigating this all. When he was first, he, no, Edward Elliot. Edward Elliot, sorry. His father. Sorry, sorry yeah, Tommy Elliot, yeah. the kid. Yeah. yeah. Um, yes. Like, Edward Elliot was a reporter. He got axed by Falcone for investigating all this. Or was it? And he reckons Bruce is responsible because Thomas Elliot's involved in the whole thing. Yeah. I don't know how the twist comes out. Um... Um, but no, he, he's, he's the one that's found the information about Martha. Oh yeah, and he's going. Yeah. So he, so then he, 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 he tries to pay him off to tell him, "Don't bring yeah. the story out." Yeah. And then he goes to the car, for, Falcone in desperation. S- Falcone's s- like, well, s- "Can you show him up?" And he goes to the fear of God in him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, I can interpret that any way I want to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or maybe it was just a mugger. Who knows? I mean, it's such a good thing for then Thomas to come up yeah. and then blame. Bruce, and then set the whole thing up for Hush. Yeah. Especially yeah. when it says, Hush! Right Hush. across the thing. Because they mention, it must be within like a few seconds of each other, because they yeah. mention Edward Elliot the name, and then it's flashing yeah. through all the images, and Hush is right there. Yeah. And yeah. I'm like, well, does that mean that this is actually Tommy as the Riddler? Yeah. And he's done all this set up, or is Tommy still out there looking for vengeance elsewhere? Um, anyway. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 you can, was he joined the court and he's working with him? If you're going to go down the route of this gritty, dark sort of really sort of detective story Batman then Hush is the perfect yeah design. yeah definitely you've got somebody that's doing Not the opposite Condiment King hmm? <laughs> I mean, uh, we're, we're having we're, we're going to have Condiment King at some point definitely in this world because it's nice and that's, serious that's, could you imagine <laughs> when, um, when um, uh, Edward goes to the uh, the cafe and then they go in there freeze and the Condiment King comes up and <laughs> <laughs> you'll never take my partner <laughs> awesome. there's one there's one thing, would you like the hot dog to go <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think what he says what he says in the anime series now because he he says loads of corny one liners. But um, one thing I did when I watched that, that rock stars like Easter egg video mm-hmm. that they brought out. Highly re- if you like love sport like nerdy stuff, watch that. There's one bit in that which I fucking freaked out about, which mm-hmm. I did not notice, bro. Right? But apparently the first time Selena comes out of the club, so like to half an hour into the movie, it like pans out. Right in the top, over the trains. Yeah, on the top left hand corner, mm. there is a light in an apartment. And the riddle is there because it's obviously he lives right across, yeah. right? He's actually you actually see him. The guy who like free phrases the film. So half an hour into the film, they reveal that the riddler actually lives opposite, oh, and that's how he gets all the pictures. You're not but you attention. never even yeah. notice, like mm-hmm. unless you look out for. It. I was just like, "Fuck, that's actually so clever." That's the point as well because if you this, it's said two sets of pictures. You've got the one with yeah, yeah. That's, that's where he took him from. Yeah, from that apartment. Yeah, Batman should have thought and think these are taken from the same camera angle. Mm. Yeah, where's that camera angle coming from? Yeah. yeah. So or maybe he just thought like he hired an investigator. He, he just goes to the same rooftop and it's nothing to do with yeah. him. But... Yeah, but, but like, yeah, I'd say that you, like, you didn't think about that at the time. It's just like fuck, that's that's crazy. Mm. Oh, the thing it's... is, if you if you were going to do a a strategy that brilliant, you'd have to keep an eye on it, wouldn't you? Yeah. So it makes sure what's going on. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I say I quite that's why I want to see it a second time because I'm quite curious because it's such a twisty, turny story and yeah. that's a good like. Where we're watching it again, the twist, you know what the twists are coming. Yeah. But it's still, it's yeah. Because really you know what Paul Dano, the actor, looks like. Yeah. But it's like trying to imagine if he was anyone in the crowd. Like that, that guy in the funeral turns to Bruce and goes, ah, they got what come to Yeah. Him. Oh, kind of yeah. like, okay, is that possibly him? But he yeah. turned out to be the vengeance guy. Right? Yeah, yeah. And, then, and the guy tries to sneak through, because obviously Bruce is looking out for them. Like, yeah. guy tries to sneak through the bars. Or, but but then you see him like, in the car. But he's silhouetted by the skylight. Yeah. yeah. And you can't, so you can't see, see his yeah. face. Yeah. So you can tell it's Paul Dano. Yeah. Because we know who he is, obviously. I love in that scene as well, as soon as that car comes through, Bruce just runs straight to the kid and yeah. saves him. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Yeah. I love that scene as well where he's like, that's the ones on the three riddles and like, he's like, oh, what do you mean? Batman's like, justice. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, he's like, he's like, bribes. Bribes? He's like, well, how much? And he's like, uh, like, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, he, he's just so on the ball. It's mm. brilliant. Ah. Great, great film. Mm. Thank you, yeah. Matt Reeves. I think, yeah, Thank I'm going to go see it a second time. I'm going to digest it a bit more and I'll go see it. For, for, for yeah. Time, so. So, yeah, definitely. It's not long. It's getting streamed on HBO, HBO Max in eight by in April or something. Yeah, so it's only a month. But we're going to see an IMAX ever again. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, a problem. That's a problem. I'm going to have to go and buy a new sound system and try and put my speakers on the floor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sit on them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much what it feels like. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to find some space for a Robert Pattinson hot toy in this background. Yeah, I, 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 I might have uh, pre ordered that as well. Let's, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, with the bat signal looking fucking awesome. I've got, I've got the. Um... So I'm curious how the bat signal wasn't actually on police headquarters. It was no. actually in a... and the fact that if you look at it, if you, now they've seen the hot toy thing as well. It's just a regular one with grills, and they just snapped bits of the grill to, to make the, the shape, shape yeah. of the yeah. thing. Clever. But it makes sense for it not to be on the GCPD because it's only like Jim that's sort of yes. with yeah. it. Yeah. It's the way that they contact each other. It's not like they've got uh, each other's number. Yeah. It's like if, like if Batman has something to tell Jim, he'll go there and turn the yeah. light on and vice versa. That's the thing you think as well yeah. if they. Which, with it being there, everyone's like, "Oh, well, there's a bat signal." And the police are like, "Well, it's not on the roof of our building, but it's on the roof of that building over there." So, if we ever need to arrest him, we're just going to turn it on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, but it'd be interesting to see if 
in the next one, so I'm, Jim has become I'm guessing he will be, because obviously... And then know. it gets put on the roof, because he's like, oh, I can't be bothered to travel. The other guy, the, so the, the other guy, the other guy, the other guy, it's, it's, it's going to be the whole Dark Knight thing, where they'll, they'll start building his career off a bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I'm, I imagine... Well, he saves the mayor, right? So that, that all, yeah. that'll help him. Well, not that, but yeah. the, the revelation that Falcone's got most of the cops on the payroll, is it the guy with the moustache that Bruce well, yes. Batman punches? He's like, yeah, so... And then at the end, all the good cops show up to yes. arrest Falcone, but like... Quite clearly, there's going to be a load of them in the force that are corrupt. Yes. So clearing out the force is going to take time. Yeah, yeah. And that's going to be Jim's job while Batman's busy sorting out the streets. So. Yeah. <clears throat> Definitely. Oh, man. Gonna need a, you're also going to need a new DA since mm. the... Uh... Harvey Dent. <laughs> Can we trust him? <laughs> yeah. Can we I trust him? That's the other thing is... Well... Because in the comics, <laughs> Maroney's the one that throws the acid in his face. Yes. And makes him He's still alive. Right? Yeah. He's been arrested, but if that whole thing was a... So charade... It would be released, right? Released, and then... Well, yeah, Moroni Mar- will get released because the, the yeah. whole thing they put to put him away was a Falcone exactly. which might lead to a bit of a gang war between him and Cobblepot yeah, yeah. Um, I don't see why not it'd be awesome so, especially if the police are too busy with the disaster efforts to not manage the downside of the streets so. yeah <sighs> and then I'm going to finish up on the one interesting thing is mm-hmm. At the very end after the credits, you get a quick glimpse it's, of a URL. Yeah, is that the Elrond Rotada? Yeah, yeah, if you yeah. go to it originally on opening night, it was the the video that's played on the projector of the Wayne oh, uh, project really? uh, renewal. Yeah, but it, it doesn't show you that anymore. It's changed, <laughs> and it go, it's forty. It's, it goes to forty percent, and you click on it, and it brings up an image, and it's more of those ciphers. <laughs> someone's decoded it. Yeah, 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 I can't remember what it says now. No, um, yeah, yeah, someone's created it. But it keeps updating. Yeah. It's only at forty percent at the minute. Yeah, yeah. so it's so, interesting to see how, how regularly updating with yeah. what they hit link into, which is fucking genius. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it, yeah. So it, everyone. Go to that URL, try and work out the ciphers. So one, one of the, the next ones already been done, but when next time it changes, yeah, it's going to be a. Uh, oh, maybe it's kind of setting up for a TV, the TV show. Maybe. Or something. Yeah. Which uh, speaking of, which is a uh, we've got the very end of the film. Catwoman leaves. Yeah, to Bloodhaven. To Bloodhaven. So. <sighs> no Nightwing yet. No Nightwing yet. But <laughs> Dick's, not, Dick's not even. Been I hope we get the Catwoman ordered. show, the Penguin show, and then this Arkham. Yeah, because it's not it's not GC to PD anymore. Is it? It's no. going to be Arkham show. It's just strange because I, I really do want another. Cop focus GCPD show, especially after. Um, yeah. But that's the thing; it's Gotham. probably it would probably be very similar to Gotham. Gotham, and the other thing is if because they were going to set it a year, as in like sort of year one. Mm-hmm. It's you wouldn't be able to go anywhere because you know What's if you do it Arkham now, yeah. you could go anywhere. You could last ten seasons. Well, there was a, there's a comic I'm quite fond of called Streets of Gotham, which is uh, set like it's just as Commissioner Gordon's about to retire and Aikens comes in just before mm-hmm. No Man's Land mm-hmm. or was it in a, like in the old before the, before the new 52 came in and it's it's about the GCPD's detectives under Gordon um, working the major crimes and occasionally Batman shows up in, in the mm-hmm. comic and other characters from, the, from Gotham but it's yeah. like about them trying to do their job as detectives trying to stop crimes but also in a city that's got criminal metacriminals and Batman cup comes in mm-hmm. occasionally it's, it's, it's quite that's a good cool. little thing mm-hmm. yeah. there was one point where this guy gets pissed off him interviewing a suspect and he goes out into the hall for a smoke and then his partner comes out behind him and he's like, you all right? And he's like, oh yeah, it's just we something this. This guy's not giving us anything. He said he was down on X Street. And then um, his partner comes in from the other side and he's like, fuck, he turns around, it's Batman. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just out the window and gone because you just get information on the guy. Yeah. It's like, there's a really passable version of you. And it's just like, <laughs> It's like so you can imagine how that would be from a cop's perspective. Yeah. Is that you think you're talking to your partner about this case, yeah, and, and you're giving cover. information to Batman. It's like, for fuck's sake, the guy's just gone off to where you know there's suspects, and it's like, yeah. Yeah. nice, very clever. <clears throat> yeah, no, that'd be cool. Yeah, yeah. I was there, looking forward to it. Interesting. Ah, oh, man, yeah. anything from this universe is happy, good. happy, happy See, people. We are what very they happy in the coming weeks. Mm, very yeah. happy, and we still got Black Adam, the Flash, and Aquaman to go this year. I you said Black Adam for a second. Black Adam. <laughs> The old, the old, the old Rowan Atkinson comedy TV show. Dwayne <laughs> Johnson. <laughs> Black. <laughs> Give it up. Jesus Christ. Well, we didn't get one good announcement today. Gotham Knights has been released. Yes. Oh, yeah. 25th yeah, of October. October. Yes. Working that week off. We're going to have lots of fun playing that game. <sighs> they got that TV show coming out at some point as well. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Good to be a DC fan. Right, cool. Right, um, so that is our random chatty review done of <laughs> Batman. It was structure. No, we just, we just chatted about everything yeah. we love, which is basically the whole film. It, 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 pretty much pretty much three-hour review of the whole, so pretty good. Um, if you stuck around this long, mm. congratulations. You're a true fan. Um, we'd love to know your thoughts on the film. What your, was your favourite bit? What was your favourite character? What do you think the next film's going to be? Um, please come on and let us know. If you want to <clears throat> um, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Links are in the description below. We also do a podcast as well. So anywhere you hear po- listen to podcasts, head over there, search for us. Uh, loads of podcasting. We also obviously do 
um, reactions and trailers. So head over um, to our Patreon. You can see full reactions of all the shows we react to. And we'll see you very soon for another review, reaction, or something else. Let's do it, babe. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>